we have the Ace family skiing in an infinity pool. Yeah. That that whole YouTube family thing is very bizarre. I, I've never really got the whole YouTube family thing. Um, I found it very creepy, um, very odd. But again, you know, I think the whole point of YouTube is to allow the regular everyday folk uh, to kind of go online and to somehow, you know, actualize their dreams, to change the future of their families, to just be on social media in general. So maybe it's not that crazy that there's a family channel out there, but I just find it weird of why you'd want to watch a YouTube family channel. Like, I don't know, like I, you know, most people don't really enjoy spending time with their own families. So why would you then want to sit on your computer watching another family live this um, uh, fake existence for the most part, right? Um, engineered for the likes and for the views, which you can not have a problem with. But again, I would. there are better ways I would want to spend my time. But that being said, um, this family is very popular. I'm not sure, sure who they are. Ace family, they're very popular. I've seen, I've seen videos of them here and there, but I've not really watched any of their stuff. But um, this kind of gathered news on the whole interest because they decided it was a good idea to ride a jet ski in an infinity pool in LA. Now, infinity pools, you know, we're all a big fan of them. We've all been on Instagram. We've all seen that picture of that girl kind of like with her back towards us looking over the sunset in an infinity pool. We're like, oh my God, that's amazing. That's what retirement looks like, right? Or making it, quote unquote. But infinity pools are always kind of inherently cool. When you see them in person, they kind of become less cool, right? Um, because they're usually quite small. Um, they're usually really, really shallow as well for the most part. And, you know, it's not that big of a deal, right? It's an infinity pool, whatever. Um, once you've seen one swimming pool, you've seen them all. doesn't really make that much difference. But these dudes decide to jet ski. He tries to ride his jet ski, which I'm not sure how he even got in their first place, um, inside the infinity pool. And I don't, I don't know why you'd have a jet ski in your own house in LA, but I'd assume you'd have it somewhere next to the water or in a shed somewhere, but I don't know, people, many people put it in their garage. But the problem with this is he's riding it inside his little infinity pool around and around in circles. And then all the water is splashing on the, on, the, on the edges. And this kid on his social media, I think on Twitter, must have tweeted a video or a picture of, I think his uncle or some, one from his family lives in the houses just around it. And all that water that he was splashing was causing mudslides that was kind of affecting everyone's vegetations and gardens and stuff. And just wreaking havoc everywhere. And in true YouTuber fashion, um, I think the wife or maybe the husband got on social media and just kind of, you know, was like, so what? We do what we want sort of thing. It just made me laugh. It just really did. It's the sort of thing you never really would see an established celebrity ever doing, right? Um, acting with such kind of contempt for their audience. But it's something that's quite particular and very specific to a YouTube personality, right? This idea that they're, you know, they have no idea of how they're perceived on the outside. They don't have no acknowledgement of it. And they just do exactly what they want. And for some reason, the audience laps it up. You don't just look at someone like Tana Mongo, Tana Montague, right? If Tana was a a normal celebrity that wasn't from YouTube, she would have got cancelled time ago, right? People would have been bored of that along to Tana's effectively like Len Lena Dunham, right? If Lena Dunham was a YouTuber, her life would be much more easier. People wouldn't mind. But the fact that she's a Hollywood star, like, you know, Lena Dunham was in Once Upon a Time, for instance. No one gives a shit, right? That's how bad that's how much she's fallen to have grace. So this is a yeah, so this is a, a article from Perez Hilton and it says the following. Um he saw around actually, which is quite cool to see. Um Ain't no shame in the Ace Family game, but there are probably should be. For those of you who aren't familiar, this family of vloggers made up of Dad Austin Mc, Austin McBroom and Catherine Pies and daughters Ellie and Alia. That's a creepy bit, right? Everyone knows their daughters' names. Everyone's seen them grow up. They don't really have a choice in the matter. And if they do, so what? It's just it's such a weird exploitation of your own family, isn't it? It's very, very bizarre. Um, and what happens when the views stop? That's the issue, isn't it? Because YouTube... Um, intrinsically is a place where you're kind of chasing the views you're chasing the algorithm um what if the views stop or you have to do some questionable stuff to get your family back on you know on the trending page or get the subscriber count up where it should be that must be a disturbing place to be as a as a kid right imagine your parents are doing this but whatever um so um, they've become one of youtube's most popular uh channels over the past few years thanks to their energy the telegenic personalities and YOLO energy. But the shenanigans that led to the bounty of clickable content has also allegedly resulted in some real life damage for their neighbor property. Now viewers are banding together to decree how problematic the Ace family really is. It started on Monday night when the family uploaded an exhausting hour and 10 minute long tour of their enormous mansion. Who's watching tour videos of someone else's home for an hour? 
No way. Unless you're Jeffrey Star or someone, I don't give a shit. One hour and ten minutes to watch Ace Family. Talk about in this room, this room, this room, just talking into an empty flat. Like, people have got time on their hands. Time, time, time. And actually, you know what? We have time. Let's click this and see what what their video, what their tour, their film actually looks like. This is is this, is this coming? Is this them coming out? Is that the Ace Family coming out to people? Why is there a basketball arena full of their fans? Oh my god! Is this how big these guys are? Jesus Christ! They're walking literally walking out to a stadium full of people, a basketball arena surrounded by two big security guards and another security guard carrying their baby. Mama Mia! What is this? Mm. Let's see what this video. What's, let's see what this house looks like. Woohoo! House looks fucking insane though, doesn't it? Look at the outside. Two cars, an amazing mansion. I wonder if it's a new build or something they just bought somebody else. Probably a new build. Huh? What do you think? I don't know. How mansions work. Not even my tax bracket at the moment, but yeah. Two palm trees on the inside as you walk up to the entrance. Slow motion of the video. Oof, looks amazing. Okay. Bloody hell. It's massive. Okay, the house is massive. Let's go back to the alcohol. Wow. Um duh, duh, duh. Inside Monday when they uploaded 10 minutes ago, the, the Cripstar video took viewers through the couple's massive pad before Austin decided to show off the pool in the backyard with his jet ski. Much to Catherine's dismay, the former college basketball star rode his wave runner around the pool after a few laps of a few crafts with wife Austin shopped stopped and created a literal wave pool and told the camera as he probably stirs the wave runner ace family. You only live once. I live like I always say, so why not live it up? But imagine you've got a family and that's your motto. You only live once, like I say, so why not live it up? You can't have a can you can you have a family and be and and ascribe to YOLO? Is that a thing? Isn't YOLO like hot girl summer or like whatever? It's for like single people without any families, right? You can't really say YOLO when you have a child crying in the next room, shitting themselves, right? It's not really a thing because you can't really like that because you have to look after that kid to be able to be a functioning adult. But anyway. Here's a reason Austin jet ski antics have allegedly caused a lot of alarm. After the video was posted, a Twitter user called Joseph Cabrera claimed that the waves from the family's pool created a mudslide that destroyed his uncle's property and grapes. <laughs> and then that the vloggers continued to do so, despite the neighbors complaining. Imagine being a neighbor of a, of a YouTuber, right? Imagine, you remember when Logan Paul and, and his brother were living in that house, the Team 10 house? Imagine being their neighbors. The parties and the noise like that must be awful isn't it and most of these places that you know most of these um mansion areas or kind of gated communities in la for the most part outside of celebrities if you see ever seen videos of celebrities talking to their neighbors they're always surrounded by older people retired these right people that have made it and you know in hedge funds or whatever or businesses and they just kind of want an easy safe life it's not really surrounded by like you know loads of party animals for the most part it's all just older people they just want to you know have a good time and chill out so imagine coming back from work or coming back to your nice apartment that you've worked really hard for at the age of 75 and you've got you know a family full of vloggers next door to you screaming and hollering the husband riding a jet ski the wife frantically crying in the background yeesh the aces for their part are apparently largely unbothered by the fact that they're causing the problems in other people's lives on tuesday Catherine pays took to twitter to share a string of smiling emojis when a fan asked her to elaborate she replied oh nothing people just hate to see happy people minding their own business living their life and staying in their own lane so i'm just smiling at them that that again the lack of self-awareness from youtubers reminds you a lot of footballers right have you seen i've interviewed with um granite Xhaka from arsenal He's kind of responsible for the most, you know, you don't need to know about football, but essentially Ganesh Zaka is responsible for um, the most individual errors of a footballer that lead to goals, right? For the whole country, in the whole of England, this one player is responsible for making the most mistakes that lead to goals, whether it's gives the ball away or he tackles somebody and it's a free kick and he goes in. So he's in the interview and someone asked him about his last performance where he did get a giveaway of a penalty, which the team scored for. And he's kind of acting as if like, you know, it's no big deal, like, so what like you know people do it all the time and then he completely shifts the the conversation to oh people weren't talking about the amount of chances we missed that that one interview reminded me of a youtuber that's essentially what youtubers are like have absolutely no self-awareness at all right let me see if i can find this interview granted it's like a interview um about tackle right let's see if i can find it 
he has absolutely no self reflection of the the idea whatsoever. Let me see if I can find it here. Mm. No one talks about the whatever. The, the, the. Yes, here it goes. Right, let me play it now for you to see. It. This is essentially what this is essentially what YouTubers do, day in day out. If you guys can see it here, boom. Press number two. So this is Grand Jacker. Listen to this. Derby, I think they have a good game. I make a mistake with a penalty, yeah. Um, but uh, if you see the game, you can win this game. We have a lot of chances. But this is football. Nobody speak about the chances. Nobody speak about how many we miss. Always speak about the mistakes. It's he didn't make a mistake. He always makes the mistake. Right? And he's saying that no one speaks about the chances. Of course they do. It's a match. But that's just a match for of YouTubers for the most part. That is it. Like, oh, no one speaks about all the good work we do for the charity. It's like, no, we, we, we do speak about the charity work. It's just that you're riding a jet ski in your swimming pool and it's causing uh, an avalanche of mud to pile onto your neighbor's gardens. Maybe just stop, right? But no, it continues. Um, Of course, the critics disagree. Fellow YouTuber Drew Godin galvanized some waves of courage uh, oh, of outrage at the vlogging of a family with a Twitter thread calling out their behavior. He shared the following. The Ace family continually does something that is directly hurting people else's. Also, the Ace family, we're just minding our business. I don't think that's how minding your business works. Right? So they got the old text thread there. This is when the flood gets open. Soon fans start reminiscing about other Ace family controversies. By the time earlier this year when Austin received backlash from showing a video on Snapchat showing his two-year-old daughter licking a dildo shaped like a lollipop. Or licking a dildo shaped lollipop. Jesus Christ. Two-year-old daughter. <laughs> YouTubers are fucking, they don't give a shit. He shared a video of his daughter licking a lollipop look like a dildo. That is a madness. After fans blasted the social media stuff for textualizing his kid, the family announced that they were taking a break from posting content on their channel. They didn't say sorry. Just, oh, we're going to take a break. All right, cool, man. This is like when, um, what's his face? From uh, House of Cards got accused of being sexually assaulting that guy and he suddenly came out and said, hey, guys, I'm gay. So like, um, I guess we kind of knew, mate. Then last month, a Twitter user said Catherine an Instagram DM came in one of their friends slept with Austin in Miami and the influencer made her sign an NDA. The mother of two didn't buy that user's story, tweeting in response, oh my god, LMAO, post your proof people want to see. How about you post what you got and if someone tries to sue you, I'll pay for it. Deal? I swear people believe anything they read. Sigh. So, oh my god. Well, guess a couple don't want to see people believing. But yeah, another YouTubers just being YouTubers and doing their thing. Again, I... I'm I'm unsure as to why the audience still cares, but maybe it's a authenticity thing, right? Even though they're they're dicks and they act the way they do, at least they're like that consistently. At least you know what you're gonna get. It's fairly fake, but at least you know it's fake, right? It's unlike like Hollywood actresses and actors who are kind of protected and in this kind of walled garden of silence and everything's very manufactured. At least with this family you get exactly what you see on a tin, right? Self absorbed, narcissist. Who have who have stopped to nothing um, to ensure that their family is rich and famous, which is you know again not a, a, an ambition that I have, but something that you can't really um, tell somebody else not to have. Everyone's got their goals and ambitions in life, and if that's theirs, then so be it. But you know, ruining someone's grapes and their gardens is a bit out of out of order. Do you know what I mean that, that that's what it causes ruckus? But again, I'm pretty sure as, as didn't Logan Paul and Thingy Magic get kicked out of their house? The LA lo local housing people aren't, they don't muck around. Once, you, once you've got a couple of complaints against you, they'll chuck you out of your home. So I'm sure this will probably end well for everyone else involved. But yeah, interesting story, man. Imagine allowing, sharing a video of your two-year-old daughter licking a lollipop looks like a dildo. That is next level. That is next level. But again, I don't know. I don't know.